definitely the gear lines is a success story i think uh, we have to acknowledge that but the problem i see is our inability to manage the success it is a success story in the limited context of the numbers having grown and extinction having been staved off for the time being but if you are to project it in the next 10 20 30 50 years which is the kind of time scale you need to do conservation planning we are stuck with all our eggs in one basket and we don't seem to want to move beyond that in the early 90s the serengeti ecosystem which is 25000 square miles and to compare it with about 1500 square kilometers of gear a population of about 3000 lions to compare with our current 400 lions in gear experienced an outbreak of canine distemper never heard before 75% of the lions were infected one third of them died in a matter of weeks and we all know that canine distemper is quite widespread amongst our dogs and dogs and lions are kind of interacting on a daily basis and people do ask, it's not happened in years. Why do you think it's going to happen? It had not happened in years in Serengeti. When it happened, there was a price to pay. And it's really because of that, that I keep insisting that it's important to take preemptive action rather than wait for disaster to strike. It's like you and me taking life insurance. We don't take life insurance expecting to die tomorrow. The translocation program to establish a second, potentially a third free-ranging population of lion is only to take life insurance against extinction of free-ranging lions in Asia. It is not in any way to undermine the value of the contribution the Gujarat government and people of Gujarat have made to the conservation. In many ways, I would think it will only enhance their prestige in recognizing that they have done well and if they need to move the conservation to the next level, translocation is the way to go. It's interesting how the translocation debate is vitiated by motivated arguments saying that lions have found multiple homes in Gujarat. We are not talking of small groups of lions or individual lions being located away from Gir. We really are talking of populations of lions. If you look at all of these sites, they're extremely small, cannot hold populations, and not very far from Gir. So if an earthquake were to take place, or if a tsunami is to strike, or if a disease outbreak were to take place, the distances that separate all these little groups of lions from gear are so small that the insurance that a further off translocated population will give for the free-ranging population is not provided by these small groups of lions. So more strength to these small populations, it doesn't in any way undermine the need for a further off larger free-ranging population of lions. The idea is to take a population of five to eight animals, three to five adult females, two to three adult males, who are already part of a well-settled pride, and then ensure genetic connectivity between the gear population and the translocated population by the move of one or two adult males every five years. And that's more than enough to ensure that there's sufficient gene flow and between the larger population and the small translocated population.